with meteorologist Blaze Keller. Another day of tracking nothing but cloud cover across southern Wisconsin. A little bit of uh, more cloud cover has moved in, I would say, compared to yesterday. But overall, generally sunny and obviously quiet. Those clouds giving us a little bit of shade here and there as we went throughout your Sunday. We've got one more day off. If uh, if you're able to get out and enjoy tomorrow, please do so. Because again, this high pressure system is going to be sliding its way eastward and then through about tomorrow is when it will keep our temperatures not only warm but our humidity low. We're going to tap into all this heat and especially that moisture that's off towards the plains. That's going to be moving its way eastward as we go into the rest of next week. Uh, again, we've been very, I would say, fortunate to not have to deal with the heat and humidity, but also in not dealing with the humidity, we just haven't had a lot of moisture in the atmosphere. And we do need to put some of that water back into the ground. We're looking at 70s and 80s for all of our temperatures across southern Wisconsin. Winds are light and out of the south. These are our dew points right now. It is just dry. And again, we're nearing the end of May. I would expect to see these in the 50s and 60s, but instead 30s and 40s. And that's going to continue into the day tomorrow. So keep giving the AC a break. Open up those windows, let some fresh air in, and then we'll close those windows as we head into the second half of next week because that's when those dew points will start to climb. Our planner showed us that we're going to be quiet for the rest of this evening, and we will walk through future track to see maybe less cloud cover as we go into your actual Memorial Day. If you're up early, 5 o'clock in the morning, we're going to be quiet. Most of that cloud cover is going to stay farther to the west tomorrow, but again, very similar to today. Passing clouds here and there, especially into the afternoon, and then those lift north as we go overnight into Tuesday as we're beginning to head back to work. If you're up early that morning, commute will be quiet. But here's what's on the horizon, the 90s. We're looking at upper 80s, low 90s Wednesday. We'll do it again on Thursday. We'll do it again on Friday as well. So maybe this stretch of three, four, uh, three to four days of kind of that summer like feeling. We'll even do it again, possibly on Saturday. But keep in mind, as these temperatures are climbing, our dew points are going to be climbing as well. So I would say starting Wednesday, that's when we kind of get out of that comfy little threshold into the humid and even flirting with that muggy feeling on Friday. That will, though, hopefully give us the chance to kind of squeeze out the atmosphere and put some of that moisture back into the ground. But as you can see, even as we increase the humidity and the heat, we're staying generally partly sunny to mostly clear. Even as we go into Thursday and Friday, I think that would just be a passing cloud here and there. I don't really expect much in the way of complete overcast days by the second half of next week. 50s tonight, once again, open up those windows, maybe just have a fan to circulate some of that air. There is a look at your seven day forecast. We've got upper 80s to low 90s starting Tuesday and we'll stay there all the way through Saturday of next weekend. Isolated storm chances Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We dry out on Sunday, but again, uh, May ends on Wednesday and Caroline, if we're looking at this, if we don't see any rain, through Wednesday mm -hmm. in the Madison area. This will be the sixth driest May on record. We haven't even seen an inch of rain yet. Wow. Yeah, That's the whole really month, surprising. 31 days, not even an inch of rain. Yeah. So again, make sure that the grass is maybe getting watered. The plants are too, but also let's kind of conserve some of that water where we can. All right, thanks so much, Blaze. Well, Luke Gamble has you covered on how a longtime Badgers legend has found a new home